A Soldier's Story uh, is based on, of course, the, the piece uh, Least Water Soldat by Igor Stravinsky and Charles Ferdinand Ramu. <laughs> It involves um, a soldier who has returned from war and what goes on with his life after that and how um, his experiences in the war influence the rest of his life. He meets the devil and he quickly gets, starts to handle with him and he makes a deal to give up his prized pose possession, the only thing he really has, which is this scratchy little violin. In the story, he meets a princess and he finds redemption in this princess. He also gets wealthy. That's the original version. I wanted to take this story into a place that I think is more empathetic toward the main character of Joe. Um, I reset it post-Civil War. Uh, one reason to do this is because it's going to be performed, at least at the start, for American audiences, and I wanted Americans to have um, a closer connection to the story uh, and feel that it is a story that is still relevant to um, the way we're living our lives now. I wanted to eliminate the role of the narrator. That was a key part of it, and to streamline the show and to make these characters who were dancers in the show come to life and actually say their own lines and have their own action uh, as characters. This particular choreography is done by Josh Burgoss and um, it's a huge blend um, of contemporary choreography with ballet technique and like a little bit of um, Broadway style um, because it is a period piece. It's the kind of piece where once I start, I don't stop pretty much on stage the whole time. The challenge is just maintaining a singular focus throughout the whole 50 minute piece. A lot of the dancers are classically trained, so the bass and the backbone is completely classical ballet. We kind of shaved off the edges, right? We like rounded it out a little bit so it can be um, a little bit more accessible to the audience, a little bit softer, and something that I feel like is a little bit sometimes more welcoming. It's been extraordinary. Um, I primarily work in opera and I write librettos and I also work in musical theater and I write lyrics and books for musicals. Um, I have worked in dance before, um, but this was different and it was such an amazing experience working with Joss and Chelsea and our dancers. Our cast is just extraordinary. It's truly a marriage of dance, theater, and music. All of those disciplines come together to tell this very pertinent story. There's been a real spirit of collaboration between everybody on this piece. That's been really fantastic for me to feel that we can um, bounce ideas off of each other and um, there's an openness in rehearsal to try different things. Mark is an incredible writer. Just really his words um, are so simple and so poignant and it's amazing how he can make three words feel like a paragraph um, and I think without his words accompanying these movements the piece would be beautiful because Stravinsky and having gorgeous dancers but having words to kind of meet your emotional level as you're watching dance and listening to music just heightens the whole experience. I think I'm really proud about this production with Emerald City and the Moab Music Festival because of it, I think it has a possibility of kind of reviving a, a great masterpiece. What I've never really seen to this degree on the stage anywhere is three dancers so masterful and so skilled and at, what, at, their, at the dance and then they act and it takes you by surprise. It takes your breath away to see them become real people. It's, that's thrilling to me and I think I think that's going to breathe a lot of new life into this piece.